Hi, I'm Galvatron. I'm a jungle DJ and producer from Yorkshire in the UK. I also do multi-genre Twitch streams um, where I DJ and I've started doing the odd production stream every now and again. I wanted to do a Amigo meets Jungle Warfare little session, a couple of streams and, and just kind of make a tune using only the sampler and some original samples from back in the 90s to make some, if you want to call it, some authentic-ish um, old school jungle flavours. So this video right now is my first time doing one of these presented YouTube videos. I'm probably useless at it, but I enjoy making and playing music. So here we are. I thought I'd give something different a try for a change. This video was filmed over two sessions, roughly five hour sessions. So I've taken that 10 hours of footage, chopped it all up, pieced it together, and we've got just under half an hour's worth here for you. It's a very quick run through of my process. Just throwing together a track with the Amigo and the old Jungle Warfare sample pack. If you're interested in listening, checking out, picking up any of my music, you can find me over on Bandcamp at galvatron.bandcamp.com, soundcloud.com forward slash galvatron, and I stream three times a week on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash galvatron54. Anyways, we'll get into the video now. Sorry for rambling, I hope you enjoy the process, the full mastered track is played at the end of the video and I'll possibly be releasing this on Bandcamp within the next month or so I reckon so anyway sit back, relax, enjoy hopefully. Thank you for watching, see you around. So here we go, we've got the Amigo there and today we are going to use only samples in the old Jungle Warfare sample pack. So we want some, we're going to try and find some nice pads, some nice breaks, um, a nice bass hit, and see, just kind of see what we can do. Let's listen to some pads. <laughs> C minor seventh, one and full attacking it. I really like that full. That's lovely that. Let's put that in there and see what it's saying. Oh shit, my camera's fucking gone. Right. I think we may just put something like that in a, a very, very simple pad line. Um, just to start when we'll start building some samples up, we'll layer some breaks and bases and stuff, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. Right, so we've got that, let's, uh, it's a bit loud, but. Right, let's find a, a break to go over this one. Summit, we're not too much going on, just a nice, easy, dreamy. Right, I 
do like that. I'm just going to throw that in as a sample. Um, we'll, we'll put a different break in the Amiga. That's really nice. Just, we'll just throw some in and uh, see if we can figure it out. So let's have a little listen to them um, together. <laughs> Um, now, just to keep it moving, let's find a nice piece of bass. Damn, no wonder everyone used this. These samples are lovely and clean, man. Especially for 90s bits. A slab of bass, mate. Let's fin it. <laughs> Right, let's throw a little bass line down. Let's just listen to it in the lower octave as well though. Supercharger on it. Put some, put some dirt on. I just throw this in. See what it's like. That road's called Sad at Night. like that one though. in as well. Let's put the demon in. 
So let's stop everything else. What if we do that? What does that sound like? If you've watched my production streams, um, you, you kind of see how I put tunes together. But I tend to arrange everything in here in in this session view first. I kind of get my loops together and figure out what I want to do with them, and then I hit record and I start triggering them as I want, and then I just kind of jam out an intro or a full structure if I've got enough. I don't really have enough here for a full structure, but. Um, I do have enough to, to run uh, an intro and get up to the drop, so um, we're going to start with a sweeper, as chip and as pad. Now, I've, I've armed them ready to play. Now, when I hit record, it's going to then just start recording onto this view, onto as uh, arrangement view, so... Um, we'll keep we'll keep that open. Right, here we go then. Let's put it in. Right, so <clears throat> not perfect, but there we are. A little bit of a live jam recorded. And now um when we flip over to this side there we are look we've got us as jam recorded into here uh, so open these up it's definitely got that laid back 90s vibe to it and it Amiga, sample start. Right, I'm looking for a uh, stretch. There we go. Right. We've done a few little edits on that intro break. Um, but anyway, let's just check out this intro again. <laughs> It's nearly eight minutes long, this bugger. In fact, it pretty much will be with tail off. So today, the tasks are 
chopping some bricks, um, more effects, and another couple of layers. <laughs> Like stuff, I'm just gonna drag a few bits in um, and then just see what we've got. Oh, I'm gonna put that on its own. I like that. That's nice, is that I really like that. Um, actually. I'm going to throw that straight into an Amigo and work with it. It caught my attention, did that. So, now we've got it in here. I want to do I'm going to bring that vocal effect and this riser down there and we're going to just group all these up group tracks and we're going to call that just effects Right, so we've just edited all these drums here. So we're doing section by section, and I don't want to go too mental with it. I don't want loads of machine gun snares. It's not that kind of track. So we just we just want a nice bit of variety. We want, we want it to keep chugging on, a bit of phase in here and there, just to make it a bit like spacious and that, and just keep moving. That's what we want, just loads of movement. I want to, before... I, I chop some of this. I'm f I'm feeling to m possibly add um an Apache to it. And instead of dulling it off with that, I maybe. Put, uh, not a filter delay, what am I looking for? Put an auto filter on it and a LFO and we map as LFO to us Right, I'm happy enough with that last section. Um, I'm just about to wrap this stream up, but we're going to have one listen, one last listen through to this track. Um, 
we started this on Thursday, we're finishing it today, and basically I have only used the Amigo sampler and samples within the old Jungle Warfare sample uh, pack from back in the 90s. So, be making some atmospheric jungle. And um, it goes like this. Thank you. 